Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and we're out here at the Galvis Hardware Store for a black iron pot cook-off. Uh, you're gonna learn something about some different recipes that people's cooking. We got uh, pasta laya, fried potatoes. This is gonna be fun, it's gonna be real exciting, and you're gonna learn something today on Cajun Living and Cooking. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. All right, welcome back. I got with me here David Kimball, Kevin Dowdy, we're Cajun, we're Cajun, Cajun Blasters. All right. We're from Prairie Louisiana. We're out here cooking a pasta laya for Galvez Hardware. Looks good. Smells good. Yeah, we give it, we give it in town. Well, uh, y'all cook, y'all been cooking a while? Uh, four or five years. Yeah. Messing around with this and we just playing around having fun. All right. Well, y'all got it smelling good out here. We, we cook for a lot of, uh, we put, cook at Parker's and for, uh, March of Dimes. March of Dimes. We do like all that. kinds yeah. of stuff. The added yeah. benefit. Benefits um, and stuff like that. Nothing too small. We'll cook small. anything. All right. Well, that's a good deal. Well, good luck to y'all. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, I got two more cooks with me here, and your name? Neil Brown. And? Jeff Singletary. All right, where y'all from? We're from Gonzales. Right here at hometown. All right, what you cooking? Well, I got some bacon in here right now. We just get started, but I'm going to be cooking a beef stroganoff. All right, you got it. The smell's awesome right here. Uh, is this something you've cooked a lot? Yeah, well, it's different. Not a whole lot of people like to cook it, but I like it. It's good on some egg noodles. Oh, that sounds good. Well, that's good. I hope. I wish y'all good luck. We got some judges coming later to see how good it really is. All right. Well, thank you. Good luck to y'all. All right. Thank you. All right. I got with me here. Leonard Humphreys. Leonard. What, uh, where are you from? Uh, born and raised around New Roads. All right. Now, what you cooking? Uh, cooking some potato chips today. That is really unique. Uncle Lenny's famous quick fried potato chips. I think that's going to shock the judges right there. Uh, They'll love them. What's your secret ingredient? Well, we've got the regular red potatoes, and I also, I'm also going to do some uh, some sweet potatoes. All right. Some yam. We're going to do some red yam potato chips. Well, I can't wait to try these. Yeah, they're going to be good. Well, we're going to check back on you in a little while. Okay. Thanks. All right. I got another cook here. Your name is? Jason Catois. Jason Catois. Where are you from? I'm born and raised in Dutchtown. Oh, that's a homeboy <laughs> right there. That's right. Forever. What you cooking? Um... Um, it's, it's my spin on jambalaya. It's actually called a pasta. Uh, I call it a mitalaya. Mitalaya. I do my same ingredients and the same steps as when I make a, a jambalaya. But then when it gets to right to the end, I add a little more water and I have a, a, a broth that's in there. Uh huh. And I, I make a what I call a clear gravy. And then we pour that over French bread or I put it in a, in a bread bowl. So that sounds good. Different. Everybody always says, "Why well, that be good over French bread?" Nobody does it. So I figured I'd take the next step. You got it. Have you been cooking this a while? Yeah, actually, um, this is, I do a little cooking on the side, and this is the most requested thing that I cook for people, so I figured I'd come and see how it stacks up if people are judging. <laughs> this is really neat. We're going to get a close-up of this, and we're going to check back with you in a little bit. All right. All right, I got two more cooks with me here, and their names are? Kate, Kate Blunt. Hello, Blunt. And where are you from? Uh, Prairie, Prairieville. Prairieville also. Uh, all right, now what y'all cooking? Smothered potatoes and bacon. Man, y'all got it. The, the smell is awesome out here. Uh, you got, I see you got your bacon frying down right now. Uh, are y'all on time? Are y'all on time with everything? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, not as good as we want it to be. Okay. You got room to grow then. 
All right, well, I'm gonna wish y'all good luck on this. And y'all the youngest crowd we got out here. So uh, maybe some of that youth or uh, that youth experience or something will come out. And yeah, we have uh, an advantage because, you know, we can get around a little faster. True, true. Well, good luck to y'all, fellas. All right, I got another cook with me here. What's your name? Vic. Vic. Where are you from? Uh, Prairieville. From Prairieville? Yep. A lot of locals cooking today. Uh, yes, sir. What you cooking? A hen stew. A hen stew. A kicked up hen stew. All right. It looks really neat. Look like you're getting some good color on that hen. Yeah. Um, this is an old recipe I hear. Yes, my, uh, my, my dad's mom's recipe. Oh, really? Yep. And you, so you ate this growing up? Oh, yeah. Oh, now yeah. you're getting to cook it up for, for the judging. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm excited. I think we'll have a good uh, day out here, and good luck to you during the judging time. Thank you. Hang on, Chuck. We'll be right back. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Welcome back. I'm here with Jason now. Uh, where are you at? What you got going? Um, I've already cooked the sausage and, uh -huh. and took it out. And I got the chicken cooked down and took it out. I, okay. just, I just get them brown. Right now I'm doing the, uh, the tenderloin. And then when this is finished cooking in a couple of minutes, I'm going to take it out and then do my vegetables. I do each meat at a time. Instead of doing it all at one time, yeah. that way each meat retains its own flavor. Ah. And then when I mix it all back together, you still taste pork, sausage, chicken. But but then you get the mixture of them all at the same time too. I like I like that so. concept where they each their own individual flavor. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it really works, but in my head it sounds real good. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> all right, well we're gonna check back with you. All right. All right, I'm back here with Leonard. Leonard, I see you got some product already out. What you got here? Oh, we've got some sweet potatoes right here with a little sugar on. That looks really really Try good. One. I'm gonna have to test one. Not bad. Oh yeah. Now you got one of them. One of the easiest, I don't say easiest, one of the quickest oh, recipes that we got out here. <laughs> it's easy and quick. Yeah. That is good. That's really good. Maybe the, uh, you'll turn the judges on with it. It's kind of a spur of the moment idea of what the heck. Who cares? It's a good snack for everybody while we're involved. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, good luck. All right. Thanks. All right. I'm back here with Neil. Uh, tell me what you got going now. Well, I just put, I introduced my onions into the pot. I got that bacon out of there. Okay. I had to eat me some breakfast. Ah, smart thinking. Well, I got my onions in there. It won't be long. I had that meat in there. We'll okay. Browned up. Okay. That's where I'm at. Awesome smell coming out of there. Uh, yeah. we're gonna let's see if we can get a close-up shot of them onions getting brown in there. Now, uh, what's your secret to browning onions? You'll add water or a little that oil bake, or that bacon that, grease. Uh huh. That bacon grease and butter. Ah. All the stuff that clogs your arteries. Yeah. Stuff that tastes really good. Yeah, the stuff they don't want you to eat. That's right. Yes, indeed. Well, it's going to be good. Thank you. We'll check back with it's you in a little really bit. Good, ain't it? Yes, it is. All right, I'm back over here with Vic. Uh, tell me what you got going now. Uh, I got my onions and bell peppers, uh, uh, mushrooms in here, and them up. Okay. I'm about to take them out here shortly and make my roux. That is awesome smelling. So you making a roof from scratch? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, that's the only way to go. Huh? Yeah, that's it. Well, that's good. Uh, so after the after you'll make your root, then you'll start incorporating everything, everything back in the pot. Together, yeah. I'm okay. Put my, put my carrots in there when I after I make my root and everything. All right. Mushy, you know? Well, we'll be back to check on you. All right. All right. I'm here with Cade and Caleb. Uh, what y'all got going now? 
Well, we cooked our uh, uh, bacon and uh, 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 onions. Oh, good. And now we're cooking potatoes. All right, so you're going to smother the potatoes down. And then you'll then you'll add everything back in, yep. and simmer down, cook it down. That's a, oh, a little secret ingredient. Listen, yeah, you can't tell all the secrets on, when you're on TV. You know, it's, you, you got to keep some of those secrets back. It's a secret with the whole world. Well, you got some secrets you just don't tell. Well, good luck to y'all, and we'll check back. All right, I'm back with Kevin and, Kevin and David. Uh, where, tell me where y'all at right now. Uh, we got it going on there. We got our meat back in the pot. Got our gravy going, looking good. Got a pretty good color, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll cook it down for about another hour. We're gonna throw some noodles in there and it'll be ready before you know it. That's, uh, you was telling me that's an older pot, huh? Yes, that was uh, one of my uncle's pots. Uh, he passed away and I ended up with it. Uh, had good luck with it, man. Cooks real good, real good. It's, uh, I think it's one of the best seasoned pots I've seen out here. Uh, look like you've got some time on it. Oh, yes, we got plenty of time got on it, man. Time. And, we, and we have fun with it, so get around the fire. But we, we got it looking good. Everything's going our way now, man. So you'll, uh, the next step is to cook it down a little and add the noodles? Is that, yes, is that where we're at? That's right. We're going to cook it down a little bit more, add a little special ingredients, and then uh, it'll be on. Another one with secret ingredients. All yeah. right. Uh, We'll be checking back on y'all. That's right. You can't tell everybody out there. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Passing a good day and you just don't want to go home? Anchor down with Botella. The Botella is a trailable houseboat customized to your specifics and designed with self-contained technology for a combined standalone enjoyment of boating, fishing, cooking, and camping use. Botella's propane fuel generator allows you to power up and enjoy a day's play on the waterways. Then enjoy a comfortable evening of slumber parties without missing any of the comforts of home. Captain says, just anchor down and order your customized Botella. Ascension Trolling Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Welcome back, everybody. I'm out here with Donna Bruno, co-owner of Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking. And we got a big event out here, y'all. We got everybody in the black iron pot cooking whatever they want for the judges. Now, we had a pretty good turnout for the first time ever. We sure did. Um, a, lot of judge, a lot of cooks showed up. Yeah, yeah, pretty neat. And we got, and we got three good judges today, too. Uh, Dempsey Lambert. And John Tom Play. And Mr. Rowland. And Mr. Rowland, yeah. Yes. They get to taste all the food out here. Yeah. Mr. Rowland's ready. <laughs> I talked to him this morning. He's uh, ready. All right. Anything but possum, Rodney. No possums cooked. Okay. I believe we got potato chips. There's a hen stew. There's a pastalaya. There's there's all kind of stuff. And and I wish we had smell o vision because all the smells mm -hmm. coming from over there is really it's awesome. awesome. Um, and you know, we ought to. What you ought to do is have this a yearly event out here for all the black iron pot cooks. It could be. This is the beginning of something good. This might be the first annual. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you for coming to talk to us, and thank you for having it out here. And uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Here we are. How are you doing, buddy? We're about getting ready. Got the pasta in there. Oh, looking, looking good. good, man. You've been doing all right? Doing good. This is your official judging bowl. It's got uh, okay. your number on the bottom. You don't want to show anybody? All that's right. It. All right. And that's what you'll be giving to the judges? Uh, looks like you ride along right there. We'll be, we'll be finishing up at 1130. All right. Be on, man. Cajun, Cajun blasters. Cajun blasters all, all the time. 
thank you, man. We will get it done. For we you. appreciate it. Look. Good job. Good job. All right, fellas. How's it? How's it going? Uh, it's going good right now. Right now we're at a standby because it cooks a little fast. All right, man, that's good. perfect. It smells good. That is perfect. Now I'm bringing you your judging bowls. It's got the number on the bottom. You don't want to show anybody your number. Uh, that's what you'll be handing to the judges. So uh, look like y'all gonna be on time then. Uh -huh. Things are coming right along. All right. Well, good luck to y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right, here we are. I got your official bowls. It's got right. your number on the bottom. Okay. You don't want to show anybody your number. Uh, uh, how you coming along? Oh, uh, going good. I'm just letting it, let it simmer down. Oh, that looks good. I love that smell. I smell those carrots. All right, well, don't show nobody your bowls and good luck. Thank you, man. All right, back here giving out the judging bowls. Uh, how you standing? How you looking? I'm about to pour me some sour cream in there. Oh. I'm going to put the lid on it and let it cook. Be quiet about the sour cream. That's my secret ingredient. Well, that's the secret. I don't want everybody to know No, it. not everybody in TV land to know that. <clears throat> now, these are your judging bowls. It's got okay. your number on the bottom. Okay. Don't show anybody your number. Hide right. your bowls. And that's what you'll be presenting to the judges right there. All right. We'll be checking back with you. Okay. Hello. All right. Here I am bringing the bowls. It's your judging okay. bowls now. And it's got your number on the bottom. Okay. You don't want to show them to anybody. So whenever you're turning your stuff in a little while, that's the bowls you'll use. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this is the magic bowls, and there's your magic number on the back. That's, that's my lucky number. All right. Today, anyway. T today. <laughs> Don't show anybody your number. All right. And that'll be the bowls that you give to the judges. All right. How you coming along? Things are good? You going good? I feel good about it, man. Check it out. Oh, yeah. It's all been cooking down, simmering, getting tender. That so, looks good. I'm a... Uh, I'm hoping that once I add the last element, that it, it, it has a good appearance. And uh, the last little piece is the, the best part. I'm looking forward to seeing that on some French bread. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Now, good luck. We're going to check with you again. I appreciate it, man. All right. Here we are again. Yeah. Y'all's is ready. We are ready. We are ready to go, man. Got people eating, enjoying it, having a good time. Well, I was coming to tell you, you got 30 minutes for judging. I don't need to tell you a thing. No, we good. We ready to go. We ready for the judging, man. All right. Shut up. Um, Anything we need to do, just let us know. We'll get you fixed up. All right. Well, y'all good to go. Yes, sir. We appreciate it, man. Yes, got sir. a little cake, a little pasta laya, some, some bread. Cake. Yes, sir. Bread. Uh, hope everybody enjoys it and has a good time. I'll yes, be back sir. around when you're making your plates. That's right. No. All right. Here we are with the cooks. Are y'all ready? You got 30 minutes left before judging. Are y'all got everything right in line? We are yeah. done. We All got, right. We got to put some sample bowls. Uh, All right. All right. Sounds good. And so I'm going to be back in a little while to check when y'all plating everything up. That looks good, boy. All right, well, we're here checking on another one. Uh, you got 30 minutes left. How's things looking? Looking good, looking good. We're ready to go. So you're just about ready to plate up for the judges? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, that's awesome looking color you got there. Uh, the, the smell's great. And I'm going to be back over here when you plating it up. Okay. All right. All right. You got 30 minutes left. Are you on? Oh, man. You are you ready. You are ready. I'm gonna get them noodles ready next, bro. Son, that looks good. That looks good. So, so you're gonna be on time for the judges? Yes, sir. All right, we'll be checking with you when you're plating it up. I come to win. That's what I wanted to hear right there. <laughs> All right, here we are. I got another cook here, and you got another batch going. Looks like you're getting some hot ones ready for the judges. Yeah, you got, yeah, a, got them all sitting up right here, and this is the last little bit right here I'm going to do. We got uh, roughly 25 minutes for the judge, and you're going to be on time then. Oh, yeah. All right. That's right. Well, I'll be back around when you're plating it up. All right. It's our first turn in right here. Now, what are you calling it? Okay, this is potato chips. We got some sweet potato potato chips and huh. some regular potato chips. All right, look like it's plenty enough for the judges. Yep. Plenty enough. So All right. Next. What are we calling it? That's some beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff, and that looks good. Awesome. You, can the, you can take the whole little tray if you want. I'm, I'm going to take the tray and, and I'll be right and back. And we okay. may use the tray on the rest of them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> looks good. good. Looks got good. Got great, guys. Got a great. Oh, look at here. Look at this. Now, what do we call this one? A kicked up hen stew. Kicked up hen stew. I like that. With a Galvez decorate. twist, right? There you go. Oh, I like that. Well, good luck to that's you. That's nice. That's nice, man. Awesome. I'll be right back with this one. Ready for this? All right. This is Cajun Blaster. Cajun, Cajun Blasters. Blaster. Now, what do you? Blaster. That's pasta Cajun, Cajun, that's Cajun Blaster and pasta laya. Well, that looks that's good. Awesome, it's plenty man. enough for the judges. All right. Thank y'all. We're going to turn it in. Here. 
my goodness. That is really nice. Hesitation. We may not use the tray on this one. I know. We may just go straight into the... Well, that is awesome. Let's put it down here for the shot, though. That looks really good. Now, what do you call it? Meet a liar. Meet a liar. Serve it in a bread bowl. Meet a liar. That can be said for both That is really ready. nice. Well, good luck to you. Thank you yes, very much. Awesome. Awesome job. I better carry one, too. On the tray? Awesome. All right. Now, what are we calling this? Smothered potatoes and bacon. Smothered that looks good. That looks really good. Hey, good, good luck to y'all, fellas. Job, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all did a great job. Exactly. Now, how do you score them? Well, well, how's the scoring going to go? The score is going to be 20 points for taste, uh -huh. uh, 10 points for originality, uh -huh. 10 points for texture, and 10 points for color. All right. Looks like y'all got y'all work cut out for y'all. It's, it's, it's really a tough job. Y'all, I'm going to let y'all get back to work. But we the ones for the job. Gotcha. <laughs> well, I tell you what, uh, I want to thank all the judges yes. for coming out and thank all the cooks. For awesome coming out. Jobs, everyone. It's been really good. nice. Yeah, it's been a good, it was a good, it's a good day. So we're going to let them judge mm -hmm. and we're going to tally up the total. Yes. And then we're going to have a little award ceremony in a little bit. I know, I'm excited. So y'all stay tuned. Yeah. We'll be right back. Two Rose Grocery has an extensive hot breakfast menu like no other around. Hot plate lunches seven days a week. Cold salads, Take and bake pizzas, po' boys, sandwiches, rotisserie meats, and signature desserts. Customers may call ahead to place orders. Our meat department is second to none, featuring signature Cajun smoked sausage, stuffed chicken, bacon wrapped jalapenos, and much more. Locally owned by the Two Row family. Dana, we have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog leg soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported, at Hole in Wall Seafood. Come on down to Fred's on the River. Fred started as a bait shop and has evolved into a legendary place for swamp pop and jitterbugging. Open seven days a week with karaoke on Friday nights and big name bands on Saturday and Sunday nights. Fred's now has 10 tons of air conditioning on the back deck. Video games, pool tables, dart boards, and a big screen TV with happy hour from 5 to 7 every day. Fred's boat launch is free and so is the A Meat River Hospitality. Yeah. The judges are in there hard at work. Yeah. Now, each one of them's got six plates in front of them. Yeah. It's Nothing got to be hard. in this row right here. I have ate every single one. They're all good. They're all good. <laughs> and, and and that's what they're saying in there. We we couldn't see what they were writing down. You gotta have a palate that would be unbelievable. Well, they'll taste a little and yes. get a little diet coke. Taste yes. a little yeah. bit. Yes. Yes. We have had a blast. Well, I'm glad y'all came out. I'm yeah. glad y'all came out. And look, I was as gone look, done. Anytime y'all need us, call us, us, man. Cajun blasters. Cajun blasters. Thank y'all. Yes. All right, fellas, we got everything turned in. The judges are hard at work in there. Uh, they got six plates in front of them, tasting them all. It's all up to them now. I've heard some good comments about the, about the potatoes, so I think y'all right in line. Hopefully, we'll see y'all at the award ceremony, so good luck. This is my baby. All right, things have turned in. The judges have them. It's out of your hands now. You, how do you feel? I'm pretty good. Feeling good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little, right. a little nervous. A little yeah. Nervous, but... Yeah, but that's what makes it fun, oh, though. Yeah. You got to have that feeling. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, uh... Try to go inside, but they wouldn't let me. They didn't run you back out. Yeah. <laughs> the, the day hogging up the food in there. Well, good luck to you, and hope thank to see you at the award ceremony. All right. Thank you. All right. It's in the judges' hands now. Well, that's all we can do, Doc. 
I put the magic in the bowl a while ago, bro. You feeling good? I feel good. It look good. People coming down here telling me it tastes good, so. Well, that's all you can do. Good. Hopefully I'll see you at the award ceremony. Me too. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's out of our hands now. It's the judges have them in there. They're crunching away. Tearing the chips up. That's some good stuff. I tasted everybody's, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's stiff competition out here. I, and I don't see a bad thing out here. Everybody did real good. Well, it's all good. I got to get everybody. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> well, well, I hope I'm going to see you at the award ceremony. All right, I'll be in. <laughs> all right, it's over. <laughs> How you feel? I feel good. I, I, I've, I've had a lot of compliments from people come and taste it, so, uh, and from other contestants. So I, I, it's really unique, that bowl. I think that's, that's going to add to it, the, the bread bowl you had. I hope it at least looks good. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks real good. So uh, good luck, and hopefully see you at the award ceremony. I appreciate it, man. I'm looking forward to it. All right. We got the, the, we got the results in, folks. We got the results in. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out and cooking. It's been a great time. It's been fun. Had a good time. Just because you don't come in first don't mean your food wasn't good because it was hard decisions in Everybody's there, y'all. They're very, very close. So what we're going to announce third place and then second place and then we're going to announce first place. So uh, coming in in spot number three is plate number three. All right. Congratulations. You can come on. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank y'all. Good so job. Much. Thank y'all so much. Really good food. Awesome good food. All right, second place, plate number six. Congratulations, honey. Good job, bro. Thanks Good so job. Okay. Now, before I announce this number one plate, we uh, we we it, it come up to an amount is going to be a hundred dollars to the winner. A hundred dollars is going to go to the winner, and the winning number is number two. Number two. Congratulations, boys. Congratulations. Good job, fellas. Y'all come over here and say a couple words. Well, fellas, all the love. I'm feeling all the love out here. It's really. It's, it's Mr. David. Mr. David. I'm proud of y'all. <laughs> Good job, fellas. Can y'all say a couple words? <laughs> um, what, 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 how does it feel? It feels good. Uh, but uh, I want to thank Mr. Kevin and Mr. David for helping us. All right. Yeah, That's really good. That's really neat. Y'all uh, learned a lot today? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, we learned a lot, I actually. I know that... Uh, and I'll have to cook for my girlfriend soon. All yeah. right. Well, that's that awesome, awesome y'all. Congratulations, Congratulations again. Thank y'all. I'm going to have to share this. Look at the winnings right there. Winner, winner. That's real money. That's yeah. real money. Thank you, everybody. Thank y'all so much. Well, y'all. Go LSU. Another fine adventure. Cajun living and cooking. I'd have to say it's been success. It's been yes. great. Thanks to the hardware store. Thank, yeah. Thanks, Mr. Thank Ronnie Valley. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Ronnie, for all this. And thanks to all the cooks again. Thanks to everybody. And we'll do it again next year. You got it. Thank y'all.